one of the ways in which we follow others um, is known as the deictic gaze. The deictic gaze involves us looking where someone else is looking. If I'm looking at a person and they're looking at something else and they look concerned, I'm able to take on their perspective and find out what it is that they're looking at. Now that could have proved advantageous, it could have meant the difference between life and death. I needed to see where he was looking in case there was danger. What's really interesting about that is that that's the, the origins of empathy come from this idea of looking where another is looking. Because if you look where another looks, then you see what he sees, and to an extent you feel what he feels. In modern contexts, cinema and story wouldn't work without this deictic gaze. If we didn't have that ability to see the world through the other's eye, stories wouldn't work. So in a way, yes, we are programmed to be followers. That's not always a bad thing. Its original function, I think, was to enable us to work together and to, to, to 